All right, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and open up our Steam library, and we are going to search for Proton. We are looking for the Proton Experimental Proton prefix. All right, we're then going to hit the gear and go into Properties. Down under Betas, we're going to have the opportunity to choose a beta path we would like to be on. In this case, we need the bleeding edge version of Proton Experimental. And it says right there, you need to back up any prefixes that are using Proton Experimental first, just in case. Once you have that set, it's going to start a download to download the upgraded or bleeding edge version of Proton Experimental. So you have to be online to get this to work. Okay. Now that you are there, we're going to flip back to gaming mode, open up our game in question, go to compatibility and force the use of Proton Experimental. Now remember, this is Proton Experimental bleeding edge at this point, not just the straight Proton Experimental that you would have uh, got from a standard install. Now we're skipping some of the dead space and quiet space. I just want you to see that the game does indeed work. Ubisoft Connect does indeed update and it no longer crashes. But we'll, uh, we'll skip some of the boring stuff here for you. So what does it mean by backing up your Proton prefixes? Um, anytime you change Proton versions, it can affect what's inside the prefix. That includes save games, configs, and all that good stuff. I would just make sure you have a backup that you can restore prior to applying the Bleeding Edge patch. As you can see, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is indeed working. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching and take care.